Hi, my name is Steven, and together with my colleagues from DeltaCast, we are here to present you the IP Virtual Card. The IP Virtual Card is a software framework allowing high performance multimedia capture and streaming for professional applications. It is a software development kit offering video over IP transport services to the application you develop. For now, the first version of the Virtual Card is it dedicated to the 2110 family of protocols standardized by SEMTI for broadcast and professional AV domains. Let's have a closer look at the Virtual Card. Hi, I'm Antoine and I'm software developer at DeltaCast. In this video, we are showing you a demonstration on the IP Virtual Card, streaming out SEMTI 2110 using a standard platform and a standard network card. As you can see, this demonstration is using a Bixion 8268 computer running Ubuntu 18.04 and equipped with an Intel 710 network card. It runs a console application directly connected to the IP virtual card to emit video frames to the network. To optimize CPU usage and network streaming regulation, the virtual card relies in this case on the DPDK kernel bypass technology instead of on the Linux sockets. The network infrastructure is here simulated by using a Mellanox 100G switch on which the PDP Grandmaster is also connected. In this case, the SMT2110 feed is captured and analyzed using a prism. On this computer screen, the application displays the number of emitted video frames and some status link to PTP. In this case, the application streams out 1080p60 content. The IP virtual card converts those video frames to a 2110 network feed and streaming out accordingly to the packet pacing required by the norm. As you can see, the CPU consumption remains very low. The 2110 feed flows through the network switch and is captured by the Prism analyzer, which checks its compliance by the way of various parameters, characteristics and measures. It also displays a video preview. This demo shows a single stream emission but the IP virtual card can handle many of them simultaneously and up to 4K stream. Reaching performance was a challenge for the development team, but we managed to reach our goals. What I so really like with the IP virtual card is that you can develop your broadcast application as usual, focusing on video and broadcast concept, while the framework deals with all these network constraints. I believe that this is really the best way to ease IP transition for broadcast equipment manufacturer. Yes, they did a really good job. The IP virtual card is a powerful tool to ease IP adoption. I'm sure this demonstration triggers a lot of questions. Do you want to know how many channels we can run in parallel? At which CPU cost exactly? Why we choose DPDK? Please get in touch with us and ask your questions. <laughs>